we were studying about wave, right? Numerical based on need. Now look at that question number 16. So 16 say that source of sound is S. Source of sound is source of sound is S is moving with a velocity 50 meter. So its speed is Vs speed is 50 meter per second. Towards a stationary observer. Okay? Observer is stationary. So V of O is 0. The observer measures the frequency of the source as. So it measures the source frequency. That is equal to 1000 hertz. 1000 hertz. What will be the apparent frequency of the source when it is moving away from the source? Okay. It is moving towards and when it is moving away from the observer. The velocity of sound in medium is given. Velocity of sound in medium is given. That is 350 meter per second. This is the velocity in medium. So this question has come in 2000. So you we will use the Doppler effect formula. So see. So, so formula will be n dash equal to n into v by v minus v s because it is coming towards now. So frequency of sound will be more. So that's why we are decreasing the velocity of the source. So this should be greater and this should be lesser to get the more frequency. This is called Doppler effect. Doppler effect. Getting? Are you getting Manoli? Yeah. Okay, now put the value. So this frequency is given that is 1000. So you have to find the initial frequency put as it is a small v. And next one is V, we know, right? That is 350. So divided by 350 minus uh, Vs is how much? It is given 50 now. So it is 50. Now solve it. So you will get A into 350 divided by 300 is equal to 1000. So solve it, you will get N. <clears throat> so N will be 1000 into 300 divided by 350. So when you will calculate, you will get N as 857.14 hertz. Right. Now it is, it is for the first case only, right? When it is moving, towards the observer. Now second case we have to solve. Second case is where when we it is moving away from the observer, right? So it will be n dash is equal to n into v by v plus v s. So when object is stationary and source is moving away, right? So frequency will be decreases. That's why we have added here. So this will be lesser. So it will be more Right. So when it is more frequency will be less because n double dash is inversely proportional to Vs. Understood? So this is the case for when it is moving away. So now put the value. So n double dash is equal to n we have got right now. Right. That is 857. And V we know initial velocity that is 350 divided by 350. And it is moving away with the speed of 50. Now solve it. 857 into 350 divided by 400. So when you will solve, you will get one 750 hertz. So, so this is the answer. Uh, next sum is 17. 
So displacement of particle is given by so equation of displacement of particle is given x is equal to three sine of pi pi t right plus four cos of pi pi t. So you have to find the amplitude. A value you have to find. This question has come in one one nine 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 nineteen thousand ninety nine. So how will you calculate the amplitude? So amplitude will be this square plus this square. So it will be b square plus a square. Right into angle. So it will angle is sine of pi pi t plus tan inverse. Tan inverse this amplitude divided by this amplitude. So it will be 4 by 3. So now solve it. So it will be how much? So this is 9, this is 16. So it will be sine of 5 by 3 plus tan inverse 4 by 3. So it will be 5, 5 sine of 5 pi t plus 10 inverse 4 by 3. Understood? So this gives the resultant amplitude. So resultant amplitude. So resultant amplitude is equal to 5. This much we have to do only. Now look at the 18th question. That is, beats are produced with the help of two sound waves. Right. Beats are produced by two sound waves of amplitude. One is three unit and A2 is four units. The ratio of maximum to the minimum intensity in the beats. So, formula I have given you, right? So, maximum amp intensity by minimum intensity. So, it is also directly proportional to A1 plus A2 whole square divided by A1 minus A2. So, now put the value of amplitude. So, this is you know, 5 and 3 now. Uh, minus 5 and 3. 1 is 5. Again, not 4. So it will be 5 plus 3 divided by 5 minus 3 whole square. So it will be how much? It will be 8 upon 2 whole square. So it will be 4 square. That is 16. So your answer is 16 ratio 1. So 16 will be the maximum intensity and 1 will be the minimum intensity. Right. I max ratio I minimum. So this question is asked in 199 PMT. Write it down first. Next sum is 19. The question is which of the following is example of transverse wave? Sound wave, compression wave, in a transverse wave, particle of the medium oscillate in a direction perpendicular to the direction of propagation. 19 is C. So now see the transverse wave we have to. The property of transverse wave is particle and wave is perpendicular to each other. So option C will be there. So this is the statement given. Right. So this is asked in 1999. So, in transverse wave, particle or the medium oscillate perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Now, look at the next one, 20. 20 is when two sound waves are superimposed, beats are produced, when they have. So, when two sounds superimposed, beats are produced. So, what will happen? When two sounds of different frequency approach, they are alternating. Constructive and interference causes. 
प्रोड्यूस टू फ्यूल्स ठीक है सो इट फॉर्म्स कंस्ट्रक्टिव एंड डिस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफेरेंस लाइक दिस सो दिस विल बी कंस्ट्रक्टिव पार्ट कंस्ट्रक्टिव right when it is moving suppose one is moving forward and another is moving backward then it will be destructive so answer will be it forms constructive and destructive interference bits this is asked in 2019 2019 नेक्स्ट वन इज ट्वेंटी वन टू टर्निंग फोर है फ्रीक्वेंसी सो एफ वन इज थ्री एटी एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज एफ टू दैट इज थ्री एटी फोर हर्ट रिस्पेक्टिवली वेन दे आर साउंडेड टूगेदर दे प्रोड्यूस फोर बीट्स सो वेन दे आर साउंडेड टूगेदर दे प्रोड्यूस फोर बीट्स After hearing the maximum sound, how long will it take to hear the minimum sound? ठीक है? So when it is constructive, it will give the maximum sound, right? So it is asked in nineteen ninety eight. So beats will be given by so beats period will be t equal to one upon n one minus n two. So solve it. So it will be one upon three eighty four minus three eighty. So how much it is? It is one upon four. So this is the time period for bits. And time period between maximum and minimum will be half of that. Okay. So t dash will be equal to t by two. So it is t. We know right. It is one upon four. Divided by two, so multiply these two, so you will get one upon eight. So write it down. Our next sum is twenty-two. It is asked in nineteen ninety-eight PMT. So question is displacement of particle is of simple harmonic motion is given as. So x is given as zero point zero five cos of four pi t plus pi by four. The frequency of motion is given. So you have to find the frequency of this displacement equation. So so compare it with the standard equation. So it will be equal to x is equal to a cos of omega t. Plus five. So when we are comparing equation one and two, so omega will be what? This will be omega now. This will be omega. So omega is equal to four pi, right? So now we know the relation. Omega equal to two pi n. So cancel this one. So frequency will be equal to two hertz. What symbol I have? Next sum is twenty three number. So the equation of wave traveling in a string can be written as y equal to three cos of pi into hundred t minus x. So we have to find its wavelength lambda. Right. So equation of wave traveling in a string is given by y equal to how much? A cos of omega t minus k. So compare these two equation. So take the pi inside. So it will be how much? Y equal to three cos of cos of hundred pi t minus pi x. So omega will be how much? Omega will be hundred pi, and k will be pi. So put the formula. 
<laughs> so we know the relation, right? K equal to 2 pi by K equal to 2 pi by lambda, right? So now put the value of K. So K value is pi. So it will be equal to 2 pi by lambda. So pi and pi will get cancelled. So lambda will be 2 centimeter. So this is asked in 1997. Next sum is 24. A man is watching two trains, one leaving and one other coming, right? Suppose a man is standing here. So two trains, is, he is observing at a time, right? One is going away. So this is going away train. This is T2, right? And one is coming towards him. This is T1, right? With equal speed. So its speed is 4 meter per second. So both having same speed, right? If they sound their whistle, each of frequency is 240. The number of beats heard by man will be equal to, right? So they are producing also same frequency, that is 240 hertz, right? And we know the velocity of air is 320 meter per second, we have to take it. So this is asked in 1980, 1984 and 1997 also. So use the Doppler effects for two cases, right? So when it is approaching, so I will solve in this way. So this, I will solve first case here when it is approaching and when it is moving away here. So first is N1 is N upon V minus V is right because it is approaching. So frequency of sound will be more. So now put the value into V also, right? So and next will be N2 equal to N V right divided by v plus vs right so please observe that these two formulas so when it is approaching right so equation will be v minus vs in meter will be and when it is moving away so see the plus we are we are using right now for number of bits what we do we subtract equation 1 and 2. So, what will happen? N1 minus N2 when we do it. So, NV divided by V minus Vs minus NV divided by V plus Vs. So, now take NV common. So, denominator will become how much? So, it will be V <coughs> minus Vs into V plus Vs. So, right here, V plus V is minus of V minus of V is. So, this minus and minus will get cancelled. So, what is remaining? V plus V is minus of V. Right? Ye plus bachega na? Ye minus minus plus over. Okay? Yeah. So, ye cancel nahi hoga. Cancel honge V and V. So, answer will be N1 minus N2 equal to how much? N V into 2 V S divided by divided by this will become V square minus V S square. Are you getting? Yeah. Okay. Now put the value, then you will get the answer. So your final equation is N1 minus N2 equal to NV into Vs divided by how much? Vs square minus Vs square. So NV, NV no, right? That is 240 hertz. And V normal frequency is 240. 
So see here, you can also directly put the formula here and get N1 and N2. So we'll do that. Wait for that. ठीक है तो इसमें फॉर्मूले में वैल्यू डाल देता हूँ ये थोड़ा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड जैसे जा रहा है ना इसलिए ठीक है नाउ सी सो एन वन फॉर्मूला इज हाउ मच एन वन इज एन इन टू वी डिवाइडेड बाई वी माइनस ऑफ वी इज राइट सो पुट हियर एन इज टू फोर्टी into 320 divided by 320 minus 4 so how much it is calculated so 240 into 320 divided by 316 right so you will get 243 hertz now so solve for second one so it will be nv divided by v plus vs so it is 240 into 320 divided by 320 plus 4. So how much it is? It is 237 hertz. So now subtract N1 minus N2 will get the answer. So it is 243 minus 237. So tell me how much it is? It is 6 now. 6 hertz. Right. So in this way, you can find the number of bits also. Understood?